In this video, we're going to observe how to install the carousel uh, INS on uh, basically on Captain Sims product. Uh, just giving some basic uh, instructions on how to. So uh, let's get started. So when I bring up my um, INS or what I refer to as the SIVA, uh, INS, uh, I get a blank, a blank screen. So if you, uh, bring up your manual, we're going to bring up the, uh, manual number two. And let's see here. If you do a search for C, SIVA INS and, uh, and manual number two, it's underneath this topic heading here. And it's, uh, basically telling you how to install the uh siva ins for the captain sim 707 and it should work for other captain sims products also uh so next i uh, clicked on this link right here and it gives you an instruction to make sure you back up your uh, panel cgf files and um <clears throat> all the necessary things that need to be done uh please read it out of the manual here so when i click on uh Delco uh, Carousel INS here. It brings me to the website. And depending on what version of uh, Flight Simulator you're using or prepared uh, uh, 3D, um, then let's see. So depending on what version of Flight Simulator type you're using, uh, you would click on here, find it underneath the download 1.60. 64 bit or the uh, 32 or 1.60 um depending on your flight simulator uh system so mine this happen to be uh fsx and so i'm gonna download the uh 1.51 and once you uh, click on this it's going to take you to this page here and uh, you read through this very carefully it gives you instructions on what to do and what not to do and uh, your liability and their liability uh, and then you as always uh, click I agree to the above terms and then it would uh, allow you to download the file now once you download the file you have to go to your download folder and open it up into another folder and we'll take a look at the files now here I downloaded the uh, SIVA version 1.51 uh, file to a folder of my choice and inside here is where I'm going to begin the installation now before I begin I'm going to run running I'm running Windows 10 so I'm going to go to properties I'm right click and go to properties and for the compat compatibility mode I'm gonna make sure I'm running this as a Windows 7 product and run this program as an administrator and you click apply and click OK just to make sure it installs properly you probably can get away without doing that but I would recommend Windows 7 and if you're not for sure or want to just try it as is uh, see what happens and hopefully it will install correctly depending on what the version Windows 10 you're using okay now that's said and done I'm going to open this up and uh, I haven't installed it on my 707 yet, so I don't know what to expect. So we we'll go by this troubleshooting piece by piece. So I'm going to double click it, open it up <clears throat> and see what we got here. OK, next. And I believe if you have something on a previous aircraft, I think it wants you to uh, delete those. But I'm just going to see. How it's going to work because I have the Captain 727 installed on my Flight Simulator X, and so I'm just going to see how it how it installs already having it available on the 727 ready to go. So I'm just going to click a next here, and once again I'm just going to read through this very quickly, speed read through it. I don't know if anyone these days continue to speed read, but uh, this speed reading through this and I'm going to click agree and then go to next and uh, once again reading through what you can do and what you cannot do and agree once again the, the terms of the agreement and alrighty so here we go we're gonna click next 
Now I'm a, I'm a, I should be running this in the directly off the uh, C drive, uh, but when I did my first into installation of Flight Simulator, I put it underneath the game section. Uh, but I have heard uh, other uh, people they recommend running Flight Simulator directly from the C drive instead of going into the Microsoft games. But mine is installed there, and I just have to work around the benefits. I'm going to click Next, and it's going to inform me I'm going to install it in my Microsoft Flight Simulator, and I'm going to start the installation. And there we go. Then I'm going to click Next. Any other information they need to know, I can just click on the SIVA team and go there. Okay, so I now have it in my Flight Simulator uh, <clears throat> X uh, folder. So I'm going to go here. And there's SIVA right here. So let me see what we got. And it gives me the instructions on how to load it into uh, different panels. And let me just take a look at the sample panels and see what we got here. We got FSX. There we go. And here's for the Learjet. And I'm going to open up the panel file for the Learjet. And I'll slide it over here. And it gives you different examples on how to load it into the Learjet. Now, for the Captain Sim 727 and the 707 Captain, um, those lines are already <clears throat> uh, typed out for you. There's a uh, SIVA panel in that particular file and I'm, I'm going to see if I can highlight it here very shortly but I'm just going through here right now <clears throat> and these are the same entries that I got uh, in my uh, Captain 707 now what's important is uh, some persons are saying that this line also has to be uh, in your SIVA uh, aircraft and <clears throat> Uh, I'm going to experiment with this line to see if it still functions with it with well I'm just going to try it in now see I'm just going to type it in and make sure this line is in my captain 707 because there has been some configuration errors setting up in the beginning uh, there's there's problem because this line is missing alrighty so with that said and done uh, I'm going to hide this off the screen and to give you an example I'm going to go back to my aircraft and flight simulator this, 707 here and I'm going to go to the panel folder and at now when you get to the captain 707 uh, folder or 707 captain um, you'll notice that the INS is not the SIVA INS not there now I was trying to experiment and get the the version off the 727 and apparently it did not work so what I'm going to do I'm, this is from the 727 captain and I was trying to get it to work in the 707 but for some reason it did not want to cooperate and function properly or even appear on the screen as a black uh, blank area when I clicked on the uh, INS so in the uh, SIVA file or panel when I click on the panel file for the captain uh, 707 uh, let's see here I got it in window number six <clears throat> so if I go down to window number six <clears throat> and let's see here's window number six and there's the cdu maybe that's the reason why the 727 version is not working uh, because i don't have the uh, all the correct lines in there to get it to function correctly so i'm, a, I'm most likely i'm gonna take out window number six and insert the sample uh under this uh menu for window number six and i'll see if that can uh, that can work Okay, so I'm going to slide this over off the screen here, and I'm going to go back and uh, see what is recommended to carry on the installation of this file. All right, let me see if I can find it here. All righty, there we go, back into the c 151. Okay, so we're going to start with the readme file, and uh, basically it just tells me... The installation process has placed all the INS related files in the SIVA folder. And that's it on that, the README file. Okay. Uh, alrighty, so I'm going to go back into the flight simulator file now and look under the uh, SIVA. And there's SIVA again. And I'm going to find the, oh, here's the gauge, INS gauge. 
All righty, and then here's another gauge. Okay, so I'm going to open up the README file again. Oh, same information. Okay, back out of there. And sample documentations. Basically, what I'm trying to find out is how do you install? So to kick, I see quick reference guide. Now, to find your uh, installation file, it's here. And that's underneath the panel integration manual. Uh, once you click on that, it'll bring up the uh, manual. And we're going to start here. And this is very important here on the first paragraph. It says, uh, this document explains how to install the carousel gauge into a flight simulator panel. And the user must have basic knowledge of the panel file, which is the panel CFG syntax, and how to open up the uh, notepad program to use the information included here. Now, you know that I uh, added a little important information in that paragraph because that's important to know how to get to the panel CFG file and how to get to the notepad uh, to open that up so you can edit your panel CFG file and make sure you don't save it as a text file, a point or dot txt file. It uh, may malfunction and it, you may not get the gauge read properly. So make sure the file is saved as a uh, CFG, a CFG file. Make sure that's that's very important also to know. So if you keep reading down, here's the next important item and I do suggest reading this, this uh, uh, manual or this PDF file because it's more in depth. I'm just covering the most important things right now. So your gauge file that stays in your uh, SIVA file in the flight simulator. So far as I understand, I'm going to run this test to see if they will show up, but just leaving the gauge and the gauges uh, in the SIVA file in the flight simulator. <clears throat> and you notice the next instruction is the syntax now i'm gonna leave the syntax as is uh, on my uh, captain uh, a 707 captain my syntax for the uh, panel cfg file is this line right here and let me see if i can bring up an example very quickly there we go so under my 707 captain uh, here's my SIVO installation files, and that's in the main panel. Panel, sorry, that's in the main panel. And uh, you'll notice that the config file, the INS config file, this is a very important line to have uh, because on certain aircraft it may not be written in correctly, and you have to make sure a uh, particular uh, Captain Sims have this code right here, CSX. 701 and this is just for the 707 the other captain sim products may have something different code so that the INS can get initialized to that particular aircraft so that being said uh, I do have other windows here that I'm gonna project here and that's the uh, mode select unit and the ADU and um, I have those in separate windows, but hopefully it'll read the files correctly underneath the SIVA file category. So once I got those lines in the, uh, I got these lines written here in my panel CFG file. I have these, this syntax there. And I'm just going to move down and it's going to give me some configuration. I'm just going to do just one INS configure, configuration, just a single installation. Uh, I'm not doing a dual or a triple uh, mixture of INS, but it gives you instructions as you scroll down how to proceed with that. Uh, now we already observed the uh, INS gate syntax here, and they're saying that it, mu it is mandatory that it must be placed under window 00. And let me give you another demonstration of that once again, just to make sure uh, we have that down pack and it's very important underneath the main window zero zero and there's the INS mode selector and let's see if I have those lines yep okay 
So yes, I do. I do have those lines ready and to be read or read in that particular gauge. So that's basically what the rest of this manual is saying, how to set up the different gauges uh, in the uh, SIVA, to read directly underneath the SIVA. Uh, and we'll see how well this works here. So I'm going to remove this from the screen here. Now I got the 707 already up and running. So I'm going to see what's going to happen. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to just reload the 707 here. Let's see if I can do a quick reload. Ah, there we go. So it's asking me, do I want to have the INS gauge run under Flight Simulator? And that, of course, is yes. I do want to run it. So I'm going to click Run. And yes, to automatically load this software every time I start Flight Simulator. Yes. And let's see what happens here. Hmm. Let's see if it's going to work. Okay, so I'm going to go to my panel number one, and I don't see an INS gauge, so I'm going to go up here to view, well, I'm going to do gauge, my key press number seven or six. Ah, there we go. So it's up and running. I got the picture of the INS uh, shown. Uh, I'm not going to go through the setup procedure, and if you would like me to proceed with a video on that, um, if I get time, I will show how to set it up. But there's other YouTubers who have the uh, installation or how to run the setup. And, of course, you got the manuals and the SIVA file and how that is how that is uh, operating or how to operate the INS. I'm going to go back to views here. And I'm going to go back to I got the INS mode selector. And there we go with that. I'm going to go back to views, instrument panel, and I'm going uh, Click on the uh, ADU and let's see. There we go. And in the uh, installation manual, uh, it covers all these different uh, units to get those functional and to get your INS loaded up quickly. So it's working, and that's how you get the SIVA INS to work with the Captain Sim uh, 707. And uh, hopefully it will work with the other products. Just follow the instructions for Prepare 3D. And uh, it should load up as follows in the instructions. Thank you very much for your time. I was trying to keep this video simple. And I was trying to hurry and get done uh, very quickly and get right to the point uh, with my lung congestion. Uh, I got lung problems going on. So uh, bear with me in my English and grammar. I was just trying to get through this video very uh, fast. Thank you for your cooperation. And once again, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I appreciate your time and attention and ha have a happy flight on your next adventure with Flight Simulator. Thank you.